Oh, I was being good. I really was. Brian Lane with the E Hermit here for Vita number seven, and uh, I was all set up and was recording this and was going to go to bed before uh, eleven fifteen, and then my friend got online and asked if I wanted to play Terraria for a brief time. It's now one thirty, so here's my Vita number seven. I was going to I actually was in the middle of uh, I was about halfway through my Vita talking about. Uh, where I grew up and um, so if you uh, feel like doing a reply to this um, tell me a little bit about where you grew up please please feel free um, place where I grew up really was in uh, New Alexandria see it's a difficult question for me because uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit of a long-witted answer if I cover all the different places. I ended up moving an awful lot growing up. Uh, it's partly why I am somewhat of the loner that I am, but um, I, my formative years, the way, the place that really um, got me to like nature and got me to like being out in the woods and climbing trees and climbing anything, uh, was growing up in New Alexandria. I lived back on a dirt road uh, called uh, Cemetery Road. It was way back in the middle of nowhere. It was so far back that um, the even the telephone system back there was antiquated. We were on what's called a uh, party line. That meant that any when a phone call came in, it rang the uh, five or six different houses that were in our neighborhood back down the end of this road actually sort of the middle of the road and um, you had to listen to the right ring and so I remember when I was uh, like five or six being taught okay you listen to the ring da -da, da -da, or something like that and um, that's when you could pick up but of course if you uh, picked up on any other ring after it stopped ringing you could listen into the conversations of everybody else in the uh, in the neighborhood so um, it was kind of interesting um, I remember my mother actually the one time she dialed my father's work number the wrong way and it actually rang all the uh, phones in the neighborhood and everybody started picking up. It was kind of interesting. In any case, um, so I lived in New Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's, um, it's back in the um, backwoods, uh, not as much now. Um, they discovered uh, oil in the area and came back and put some uh, oil rigs, oil um, wells in, and uh, that just destroyed the dirt road. And um, so after that, they uh, came in and paved it. But I used to walk about um, it's about a half mile walk to my bus stop. Um, down and up hills, past the dairy farm. We got our, we were able to sometimes get our milk from uh, fresh off the dairy farm down there. Um, and then past the pig farm and uh, a little bit further and eventually got to the bus stop where I rode the bus uh, for about half an hour out to um, the dome in Latrobe. And I remember actually taking uh, longer, about an hour, to go and pick everybody up. Um, excuse me, uh, to, we got to uh, go to where I went to first and second grade, and then I went to a third uh, school when I went to third grade. So uh, by the time I was in third grade, I was in uh, three different schools just because they kept on bringing people into the bigger and bigger schools. And um, then right after third grade, I actually moved out to uh, California and lived there for a year and a half. So that was fourth and part of fifth. And then we moved back to Pennsylvania in a place called um, Irwin. Um, it was neat to see the... Uh, somebody... There was... Irwin was in the news the other day. I think the president actually had stopped there. Um, but so I went to school um, for half a year in in Irwin there, and so that was the last half of fifth grade. So that was that was five schools, and then sixth grade was at Nicely, and then we moved in the middle of sixth grade as well, and I was supposed to get, start going to Metzger, so that would have been um, seven schools by sixth grade. 
um, but I actually was getting like straight A's there, and I was re I was doing really really well um, at nicely, and actually took some tests for my sixth grade sto scores. So it wasn't just the teacher that um, was grading me really well. I took some uh, other tests during that time and uh, did so well that. Um, the next year in seventh grade, uh, John Hopkins uh, University came out and uh, asked me to take the PSATs, um, me and um, like two or three other people uh, in the junior high at the time. But anyway, so I went to sixth grade at Nicely. This is all Western Pennsylvania and um, moved again and we would have gone to Metzger, um, but I was kept in Nicely and then moved again and but I would have had to go to um, another school in any case because that's when I started junior high in seventh grade so I should have actually gone to eight different schools by seventh grade but I actually had only gone to seven so but um, yeah so I sort of lived all over western Pennsylvania and um, western Pennsylvania is really uh, what I consider home. So I'm a uh, Penguins fan, Pirates fan, Steelers fan, and uh, Brown and Gold Lions fan for uh, Greensburg Salem, where I, um, I actually had lived in the same house uh, from seventh grade on to um, on through twelfth uh, grade. So I actually lived in one place for um, six years there before going off to uh, college so that was the longest I'd lived in uh, any one place my entire life but I still consider New Alex, New Alexandria my home um, and where I was from I just uh, really liked being out in the backwoods and walking and seeing the deer and spending time um, and crafting the the forest to be my own special place um, climbing trees and and um, getting really unique areas and, and just playing. It's one of the uh, it's where I was really the happiest. When I lived in um, Franklin Estates um, in Irwin, um, there was a area off the back of the property that. Um, I eventually really explored into and that led on to a place where there was an airport that was actually owned by somebody else that I later uh, actually started working for um, for my first programming job and it led on into this big long area of uh, strip mines so there were just there's this huge network of paths that I um, never really finished exploring and I just loved being out in the middle of that so that was wonderful so that is part of why I like nature, part of why I um, so much enjoy doing outdoor activities, and it gave me my uh, the solitude that I really loved. And I never really... I had latched on to different weird things as I was growing up, um, the things that um, came with me that I enjoyed unpacking and... and um, the small things that I had were never really worth much of anything, but they were special to me because they were they provided the uh, stability um, in my life as I was growing up. And um, since moving uh, every year or two, you never really I never really got those uh, lifelong friendships that many many people had growing up. And so being out and finding myself, finding peace by myself out in the woods and everything really gave me um, kind of a solidity to go to that way too. Anyway, so that's, that's where I grew up. I'm backwoods kind of guy, dirt road kind of guy. And where I live right now, you guys have seen the videos of the Vita of me being on the roof and everything you see how many trees there are around me and everything but I still really consider this sort of city living uh, because there's there's so much around um, you can go 15 minutes in any different direction and see two or three of any store that you want if I go 
if I go 15 minutes in down any different road all around here, I'm guaranteed to pass four or five McDonald's. Uh, where I grew up, mostly, uh, if you wanted to go anywhere, you had to drive a half an hour to get, or 20 minutes to get to the nearest X, whatever X was. So it, it was always it was always a 20 minute drive to get to the nearest supermarket, a 20 minute drive to get to the nearest um, fast food place, something like that, 20, 25 minutes. A lot of it meant driving down into Greensburg, which was the uh, capital of Westmont County. But anyway, I could go on rambling on to different things like that, but that's the story about where I grew up and uh, a little bit about why I am who I am, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I know I've got a number of uh, friends who are watching this now, and um, I appreciate it, and I'm going to tell you a little bit tomorrow probably about uh, some new friends that I have. And uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do a uh, a record review to start out the um, or a CD review to start out the Vita tomorrow, and uh, tell you a little about uh, some new friends that I found. All right, we'll catch you later. E Hermit out.